Hi there, welcome back to my channel on going mainstream with Linux. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your life more productive using Linux and this website called Rollapp.com. The reason why I'm telling you about this website is I know that there's a number of you that are thinking of buying a Chromebook or have already bought one. Well, one of the limitations of using a Chromebook is that you don't have applications like you see here on my Ubuntu desktop locally that you can use because you're limited to what the Chrome OS can provide you. Well, we know that as far as document revision, you can use the ecosystem that Google provides like Google Docs and their Google Drive to store your documents and revise your documents. However, I wanted to let you guys know that there are other alternatives. Uh, you can use LibreOffice applications within this website and use it to edit documents online store them on cloud storage websites and then access those cloud websites locally on any platform you have. So that's an advantage of having Linux because you don't have to worry about paying a subscription costs for office applications from Microsoft or something like that or, or buying a, a license from Microsoft. So let's go ahead and log in to rollapp.com. I already registered and in order for you to register you would have to have an account with any of these providers here. So I'm going to log in with Twitter. Type in my username and my password. and I'm going to authorize the app. When you log in, you'll notice that you have a dashboard here that allows you to see what apps you have running. And also at the top here, you will have your username and next to that you'll have this cloud icon that allows you to launch the applications you've registered. Here's where your profile settings would be and cloud storage. Notice for my cloud storage, I'm already registered with Dropbox. Now these are the other providers. It provides integration with Google Drive, Box, and ForShare. So I already set this up. And here's where you log out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate using LibreOffice. So I'm going to launch my LibreOffice Calc application. I'm going to type in some numbers here. I'm going to fill out these two columns. Next I'm going to sum up the first column. I'm going to store that formula and copy it to the clipboard hitting control C and then I'm going to hit control V to copy it to the cell next to it. Now I'm going to bold both cells and I'm going to change the font color 
to blue. Next, I'm going to save this to my Dropbox account. So I'm going to click on File, Save As. Because I've already set it up to connect to my Dropbox account, I can just simply click on the Dropbox folder and I can name this file. You can see I already have a couple spreadsheets stored. I'm going to name this the Ace Roll App Spreadsheet. And then I'm going to click on Save. All right, so now I'm going to exit Roll Apps LibreOffice Calc. Notice it's showing here and now it's gone as running. So the next thing I'd like to do is show you how to launch it. I'm on Ubuntu desktop and I already already registered for a Dropbox account. Uh, that can be a separate process. Each one of you um, has the ability to just go directly to the website of your choice, whether it's Google Drive, Dropbox, or what they have above and follow their instructions for registering. I registered and I went through the installation process and now all I have to do is launch Dropbox from my Ubuntu desktop. Uh, when I did the installation it stores a Dropbox shared folder here so that whenever I actually do some revisions with documents locally this will be picked up by the Dropbox account. If I go to View, Show Hidden Files, this folder called .dropbox-dist is where the executable file is. So I'm going to double click on that. Keep in mind that I haven't set this, this up to launch automatically once I turn on my Ubuntu desktop, but I'm sure some of you highly advanced users would know how to set up scripts to do that. And notice how it provided this icon above and it also gave me a message indicating that the spreadsheet I had stored on that Dropbox account was being downloaded to my Dropbox folder. So I know it's launched and activated and I go back to home if I go to my Dropbox folder, I will notice that I do have that spreadsheet that I just worked on and saved to Dropbox, now stored locally on my Ubuntu desktop. So now we can add another column here of numbers, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit a control C on the second cell from the bottom and then control V to copy the formula and I'm going to change the font color to red. Now I'm going to save the file. So I'm just going to simply click on save. File and save. Now I'm going to close out of my LibreOffice document and notice I was using the LibreOffice Calc locally here. So it's going to stay within that Dropbox folder and if I launch the website for Dropbox I will see I'm automatically logged in and here is that spreadsheet that I worked on, the eighth roll-up roll app spreadsheet and that's 20 second, 27 seconds ago. So now let's go back to the roll app website. So I'm going to close out of here, go back to the roll app website and I'm going to launch LibreOffice once again, LibreOffice Calc that is, OK, 
Okay, so if I go to File, Open, it takes me back to my Dropbox folder. I'll double click on that. And here is the spreadsheet I was working on. So let me highlight that and open that. And you can see that here it is. What I stored and revised locally is now accessible to me online through Rollapp. So this is another way for Chromebook users to get more productive online uh, and work with LibreOffice documents as well as work with other platforms such as tablets um, and Ubuntu or other Linux distro desktops locally. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments on the YouTube video. And also you have the ability to go to my website at www.getlinuxanswers.com. There's a forum section, so if you have any questions on that, feel free to post questions there. Thank you for watching and tune in next time for more useful tips on using Linux.